to be the man. You got to beat the man. This is my yard now. I will fight anyone and everyone. Here he comes. Where is he? Cactus Jack. Your arms are just too short to box with God. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Future Heels Podcast. This is episode 19? Is it 19? Yes, it is. That's cool. Moving on up. Yeah, we're almost to 20. Nice. One more. <laughs> one more. Uh, we're going to be watching Money in the Bank today. I'm actually excited for this one, guys. I'm pr- pretty excited about it. I'll, I'll let my assignment go after the pay-per-view is over. Yeah? We're joined today by little Riley, who was on, what, the first episode? Yep, she was on the first episode. She actually won the predictions for that one. She did, yeah. <laughs> Is that right, kiddo? Shaking her head, yes. Well, I hope she yeah. predicted it, because I don't feel like getting beat by a little girl. Show. You're the star of the show? We did predictions yeah, last time, didn't we? I think I have them saved on here. Yeah, I'll, I'll yeah we do. Yeah, yeah, we talked about that, I remember. So, uh, the card, and this is in a stupid order, but uh, Women's Money in the Bank ladder match. Excuse me, man. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm talking. (laughs) Charlotte Flair versus Becky Lynch versus Natalia versus Carmella versus Tamina Snuka. Let's go ahead and do quick predictions again. Uh, I got... I got... Carmella's the most interesting. Yeah. Becky Lynch is the most likely. I'm going with Becky Lynch on this one. I'm going to go ahead and push the snooker. Yeah? I would love to see Tamina. But you know what? I think I don't... Oh. I... I don't even know what that was. <laughs> this got bombed by Riley. Damn! <laughs> I kind of got a hunch that it's going to be somebody else coming in. Really? I just got that feeling. I think it's, they're going to add one more person to this. That would be interesting. Uh, there's one, two, three, four, five. They're going to add that, six there person. There is an opening, so. Oh, what the yeah. hell? Who? I don't know. Lana? Sarah Del Rey. If, uh, We've got the WWE Championship, Jinder Mahal and Randy Orton. Oh, I got him on Orton to win. I, have, I don't think I've said that in my fucking life. I never want Orton to win, and I'm not sure I want him to. I just don't like Jinder Mahal. I, think I don't either. Make, I think they're going to make Jinder win tonight because Randy Orton's dad going to be front row. Yeah. So they... Wait. Is he? Is he? Yeah, he's he's going to be there. I... I, I, I never... I know what you're talking about. Yeah. A rumor just happened that his dad died. Yeah, I know. I, I saw that too. And I but, have not seen that in the news then anymore. I, I looked it up. I kept doing it. Road Dog said on Twitter that he wasn't there. He was alive and well. Oh, Road okay, Dog? Okay, okay yeah. good. I, I hate, hate those Rogue stupid Dog. rumors. Yeah, I hate that too. Cause that when that got posted, everybody got a hold of that one. I'm like, oh crap, that's sad. Yeah. You know, they just want to have a, a pay per view in St. Louis. You Google Cowboy Bob Orton. One of the top things is rumor killer on Bob Orton internet hoax. Mm-hmm. I don't need to read it, but that's pretty much it. Yeah. Um. So yeah. So yeah. Supposedly his dad's gonna be there. What? Where did you get that from? I just read it's it. It's his hometown. Oh, right. Okay, fair yeah, enough. in St. Louis, and I was on a wrestling something.com on Twitter. I never pay attention to where they are. Was there yeah. in Orlando or something? So, yeah, like, usually when they're in St. Louis, they make a big deal about Randy sure. Orton and stuff like that. So Yeah. I think they're going to make gender win this one because they're in St. Louis. Yeah, that would be the best way to get him some good heat. Yeah, like how many times? Oh, know? he needs to cheat in St. Louis. I think that's what's going to oh, happen. Oh, yeah. I can see that. I think his dad gonna get involved in it. Like you remember how John Cena dad got involved with him? And uh, who was he wrestling? That was, was weird. Orton? I don't remember. Yeah, probably. Oh, see on phone. Which one was it? Oh. Wasn't it Randy Orton? Because didn't he punt him? Yeah, yeah that's, that's right. That that's right. right. Yeah. I You're remember absolutely right. Like, yeah, I think it's gonna be something like that. But, so the next match we've got the Usos versus the New Day. Oh. Good Lord, really? please let the New Day win. He might as well have this shit. And he got down Their day one is not H. So yeah. let's go New Day. <clears throat> uh, then we've got this match makes me a little upset. Naomi versus Lana. How did Lana That's get up there? That's dumb. So? Cause she asked as for it. Hell. Lana is terrible. I've seen her live three or four times lately. The it whole point so is she did bad. not prove herself, so she's going to prove herself in a championship match. The only match. thing Lana yeah, got, so the, dumb. she don't have to prove it, is that smoke in the body. She got it going on, you know what I mean? <laughs> they both do. The vibes. Yeah, but, yeah, they, okay. 
So that's the card. It's actually starting right, right now. This second. So we're gonna give you our reactions right after the matches. Uh, stay tuned, guys. Tell you. Brian, why would you even say that? You caused this. I feel like you know that's not I, fair. I, I, you I, caused this. I don't want to say nothing doing the podcast on this shit. You this know what? this I, is pretty messed up for I'm, this to be the... I'm fucking mad. The this first ever. They better fucking They haven't this shit. made their decision yet. Oh, we're shit, yeah, they are arguing. Okay. Yeah, we, we should probably keep the audio on so we know what happens. Brooks is mad. Brooks is mad mad. We need the audio so we see what happens, though. Hold on. Brooks is Brian by fires ball of fires bad. <laughs> uh no, overrule it. It's not a competitor. Ellsworth, go fucking jump off a cliff. Wow. WWE Universe tweets fast as fuck. <laughs> Damn, yeah. You're right. That's why I can't be on Twitter when I'm doing this. Because I get uh spoilers all Yeah, but you're saying it, Ellsworth. It doesn't actually matter. Yeah, we need an official ruling on this. They're no, playing music. Yeah, they're playing All her right. music. All right, guys, Carmella. I guess no one had Carmella. That's because Carmella's stupid. I should have uh, I brought this up earlier. I said Carmella was the most interesting. Uh, I mean, I didn't call her as my prediction, but I don't hate it. Why aren't we recording this? We are. We are recording we're it right now. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> so yeah, no one had her. Uh, Becky, 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 and Brooks had Tamina. Yeah, I don't accept this. Well, nobody accepts. This, I don't so accept that. That's stupid. Yeah. Hopefully, uh, Becky will just. Oh, uh, we should her. probably explain who this other voice is. Oh yeah, this is Jess. What yeah, up? this is this is not Riley like we announced earlier. <laughs> this is Riley's mom though. Riley aged really fast. Yeah. <laughs> Already went to college, man. So yeah, that I guess that's our reaction for that. That was dumb. Also, bullshit, it's the first match on the card. Oh, look at Becky. Yes. She should have won. And bullshit that this first ever women's money in the bank match. Uh, was it's, won by a man. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. If that's some anti-feminist shit, I don't know what is. What the hell? That's actually total bullshit. I call bullshit. We okay, that was cool though that he yes. took the thing off and dropped it right to her. That was cool. That was fucking stupid. That was no. this whole fucking thing was stupid. Thank the you. match was stupid. That part was stupid. Yeah, the match was stupid. You fucking that good. stupid. Why would this is the first time ever you had a woman's money in the bank competition and you're going to end it like this? It's fucking stupid, man. Wait, at least it wasn't Charlotte. Fuck who, I don't give a fuck who it was. It could have been fucking Mrs. King fucking Kong. You don't end shit like this. To it's me, it's fucking stupid. This is also like, well, Carmella's still not a threat. Look she didn't you. win. You got some chillin' Damn. jumping on top of the fucking ladder, dropping shit. Do what y'all fucking Hey, Brian, want. it's Great Balls I'm of Fire. I'm fucking pissed off. I already had my match. <laughs> no, Brian's great pissed balls off. Fuck. Brian, get mad. They're showing Great Balls of Fucking Fire. <laughs> you weren't here for that. What? Oh, that? Brian lost his I, shit. I lost my ever-loving shit when they announced <laughs> that the next pay-per-view was called Great Balls of Fire. That's why I don't fucking... Ugh. I don't know if I mentioned, but that used to be my favorite song when I was a child. Oh, wow. Now it's yeah. going to be your favorite pay-per-view. Who the oh. fuck even is that guy? I can't stand him. What guy? The Carmella's little bitch boy. Oh, oh Ellsworth. He's a yeah, stupid fucking indie guy that somehow got famous because he's stupid. He, like, his face is yeah, so pissed. punchable, it's not even funny. Like, it is. I, hate I, I think that's what they were looking for. They're I like, just want to punch him. Has the most punchable face. Yeah, and that was him. Yeah. We'll get to this. Why yeah, I was like, now Lana's on the oh, fucking I can't stage. Stan Lana. So we're gonna go ahead and end this. Yeah, we'll. I'm just gonna end this with it's bullshit because Carmella's still not a threat. So this money in the bank, she's probably gonna lose when she cashes it in. That would be. Uh, Let me catch up. Which just makes the whole thing null and void. Yep. What's Lana saying? And all of a sudden, I'm making too much noise. We're going to find out. I don't even know what that means. All right, so apparently we're watching Bunny and the Bullshit tonight. You guys want to just watch PWG? Yes, watch. <laughs> We'll put on Dominion. Jesus I'll watch the rest Christ. of it. 
I watched the other four hours of it. Look at that air he got. Whoa, wait, man. New day one. We're all right. <laughs> True. New day. This is a hollow fucking victory. So, new day one, but it was by uh, count out. Yeah, so they For don't win the For a smackdown pay-per-view, I'm embarrassed. This is, yeah, this is stuff that should happen on the weekly show. I feel like it's Monday. Could you imagine if we paid $60 for this? I've Ooh. said this before. Yeah, I've said that before. Yeah, like... I would have canceled it and got our money back by now. Yeah. No, this isn't... This isn't good, guys. So the champion's advantage, for those who don't know, is basically if there's a loss by disqualification count out... Is that it? I think that's it. Yeah. Um, the champions do not lose the championship. They lose the match, but they get to keep their belt. Right. So, like, if I was in a title match with somebody and I wanted to keep my belt, I can just run up and, like, kick him in the nuts. Yeah. Which is, I would lose the match because I cheated, but I keep my belt. They walked away like little fuckboys, too. They did! Because yeah. it's, I think that's their gimmick. Yeah, little fuckboys. You <laughs> see. Freaking, what's, what's that rapper do? I was telling them they, they look like freaking, uh, DMX. <laughs> Do they look like the DMX is bald? They Dude, they did so good too. They deserved it. Yeah, they fucking deserved it. So, what do y'all think about this so far? The shit pay per view. <laughs> <Shit pay-per-view. laughs> Money in the bullshit. I I'm see. okay with switching to PWG or Dominion. But uh, there's like the men's. I mean, it's, it's, I've seen the more matches. That might be matches. okay. It's, it's probably gonna be good. As long as Sami Zayn wins, I'm good. Orton and Jinder's match will probably mm. be good. Look, I've seen more botches than freaking good yeah. moves. I'm glad that guy's got that sign so we know when a botch yeah. happens. The guy in the crowd with a sign that's a botch. Right in the hard game, too. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm sure that was perfectly on purpose. What's next? Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan's coming back. <laughs> I didn't know he was gone. So, yeah, we're going to keep watching, but not too thrilled. Yep, Money in the Bullshit. That's going to be the name of the episode. Yep. Don't let me forget that. Money in the Bullshit. Okay, are we good? Can we record this now? We still don't. We're good, right? She's yeah, not cashing it in. It doesn't look like it. That was interesting. Oh, boy, here we go. That match wasn't too great. No. No, it took that to make it a little interesting. Yeah. Carmella almost cashed her Money in the Bank in. But she said, no, not this time. I'm glad they're doing, they're making Carmella a big deal. I don't like the way she won. It yeah. is interesting. It's a bunch of bullshit. Ellsworth needs to go jump off a cliff. That, that may bunch be, of bullshit. that's a turn off for me. If Fight you gotta me. win it like that, that's a turn off. Yeah. But winning it what, with the money in the bank? The winning it like she won it. Having somebody else go up there and she, you know. Oh, right. Absolutely. That, that's a big turn off for me. Now that she can do all this shit. And that's why I said, you know, Carmella's not a threat because she didn't win. It just, like, it's, it makes the whole thing null and void. That match was fine. It was okay. Naomi definitely carried it. Yeah. Lana's not that good. Lana I don't understand. sucks. She's in the main... She's part of the, the title picture now for some reason. Lana some reason. is not a good wrestler, but she is something good to look at. This is an I, unfortunate time where, you know... I, what? No, I'm just... You, you don't think she's pretty? No, I don't. <laughs> I think she is. Uh, one of the Smackdowns where they were talking about the women, the crowd started chanting, we want Lana. And this has happened before. So, all those people in the crowd that really like Lana for some fucking reason, it's this is your fault. WWE Universe. You I'm know what's going to end up like? That episode. freaking one girl that's gone now. The tall girl with the red hair. Oh, Eva Marie? I love Eva Marie. What? Yes. What? I love Eva Marie. What? Are you serious? Listen, so cold. <laughs> <laughs> I love Eva Marie. She is she's not great in the ring, but her personality is awesome. The fact that it would be like, here she comes. Oh, she got delayed by traffic. Sorry, I can't come. That's stupid. <laughs> yeah, that was, you yeah, told so me stupid. about that. That's kind of a cool thing. That was building heat. Le- let me people just off. say... Okay, we just watched the women's Money in the Bank match and then the women's title match. Yeah. Fuck everything we just watched. Go yeah. back and just watch NXT. Oh, yeah, good fucking... For fuck's sake, why would you put that NXT on at the same time you had this bullshit on? Ruby Riot, Nikki Cross, and Asuka. Whole... I was mad at first, since we have... I think we have a little bit to talk about that. 
Okay. Yeah, because we'll when after. the ref was like, hey, 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 let's let's stop the match, I was like, why the fuck are you stopping this match? Right. I was really mad. But then by the end of it, I was like, well, damn, son. Yeah, we'll get into that afterwards. But uh, for now, to, we have... have to pull it up and watch it again. Oh, the match? Maybe. No, uh, I guess we're going to get back to money and the bullshit. What are what are we... Fashion... Fashion oh! Vice. Oh, okay, man. yeah, Fashion Files. Fashion Files! Okay, just really quick, because I guess you guys... Do you know him, Brooks? Not really. I've you seen know him. Maria, though, right? Oh, everybody know her. I've She's seen now her. now the most gorgeous woman in WWE? Brian, she was the one I was like messing around with Santino and all of them back in the day. She was the first lady of WWE. When you were talking about, you said Melina. I was like, oh, uh, I met like her, Eminem. Though. Yeah, I met her. Nah, Mike Bennett is in WWE. That makes me so fucking happy. Okay. So we have to go back and watch the Mike Bennett stuff in our ROH. Okay, now the name sounds more <clears throat> familiar now that you mentioned him with Ring of Honor. He's just so good. I see, when I watch Ring of Honor on TV, I see him. But there was, it was. I guess they knew, and hopefully they make the brand more better. <laughs> Straight to the main roster. That's hey. amazing. So that, yeah. that's it. I just wanted to bring that up real quick. They're they're here. Finally. I'm happy. I, I think you're going to see a lot more people coming straight to the main roster. Maybe. You know. We'll see. Well, I called it right before it happened. Randy took out the Singh brothers, got back in the ring, gender hit his finisher, he won. That's how it happens. And, and I said, I've been watching wrestling too long, but you think they're just too predictable. They're too predictable. <laughs> That's what the... It was set up when Randy was sitting on the, the apron. You saw Jinder looking at him, getting ready to go anyway. Yeah. This wasn't a bad match. Jinder's got a lot of heat. He could have got more heat. They could have done this better. Yeah. They could have... I wish they would have got uh, Randy's dad involved in it. They got him involved a little bit. No, not, not you know... I think it would have been great to see Rick and Slaughter and hell, look, even look Cowboy. Look at Rick with his fist balled up. Rick could have clocked that son of a bitch right there. He probably, you know. Probably Why not him, just have the woo, legends woo. pop them? Yeah. Why not? And they would have just sold the shit out of it. Yeah. Like, back bump flipped over just from a single And then punch the crowd would have popped. This yep. RKO Orton day was pretty good. Jumping from uh, commentary table to the other yeah. That, I mean, it was a cool match. Yes, it's right here. Boom! Right pretty, through the table. That was nice. But that's that's the whole plan. They knew what they was doing. It was a good match. This needs to lead to something better. Look at that. Here's the finish. What is that move called? I like that move. Oh, oh the way he calls uh, it. They, I was watching this week in WWE, and they called it something. I like it's his like finisher. It's like the Colossal or something like that. Okay. But it's been used before, but it's a very... Who used it? Ezekiel Jackson. Oh, that's right. You said that earlier. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, you know. But a lot of people, like, I had somebody... I was talking to somebody a while back about it when Ezekiel was doing it. Yeah. It's, it looked almost like the rock bottom, but they got their arms you know, twist, uh, wrapped around them. Oh, right. But I guess the way they land is yeah. like the rock. Yeah. yeah. That's true. You know, it's, uh, it's, I like the move. Yeah. Speaking of the rock bottom... A uh, very similar move to that, where you don't fall with him, the Uranagi. Mm. I fucking hate that move, by the way. Samoa Joe's? Does he do it? Yeah, when they come in the corner too. and he picks them way up and drops them? Yeah, I think so. I think he does I think it. Somebody else I don't does like it. Joe does it. Well, apparently you don't mind that Joe does it. No, I think when Joe does it, it's good. I saw. I think I saw Bray Wyatt do it. Yeah, that's yeah. That, yeah, Bray Wyatt does it. Oh, does yeah, he? And yeah, it Bray looks Wyatt lazy. <laughs> he, he, just Joe, lifts, he just lifts them up and drops them. When Joe does it, he looks like he killed him. <laughs> yeah. Like every but like every time someone else does a Uranagi, one, I love saying the name. Yeah. But the move itself looks fucking lazy. Like I I, I think it's a terrible move. But I, Jinder Mahal's finisher is pretty good. Yeah. That was an all right match. I just want to say Jinder got the biggest push he could get at a pay-per-view because he just beat a hometown guy. Yeah. But you know. could have been he, he should have cheated to win, though. They could they could have did a little bit more. He almost in cheated. A match. To win. Yeah. They could did a little bit more in that match, but hey. Three weeks away, great balls of fire. Yeah, oh, good old the Dallas. But Brian's Texas. just gonna be pissed off for three hours because of the name. K H A L L A S. Is it? Oh wait, is it colossal? Oh, the coloss. That's what, what it means. It's coloss. Yeah, I'm gonna figure that out next. So I think now we why I guess the fashion police are coming out after the WWE championship. Uh, they should have they should have came up before. Yeah, 
Well, let's go ahead and end it because I'm sure they're gonna they're gonna come out soon. Oh, Coloss means finished. It's fucking cool. All <laughs> yeah. right. Hey. Can't argue with that. Brazongo one. So. Their big mystery partners were the Ascension. I didn't go to work today, guys. And it's Tuesday? Oh, no, I'm sorry. We're watching a pay-per-view. It's Sunday. I don't know. Shit, I missed work today. No, wait. You're right. Yeah, it's Sunday. Y- yeah. <laughs> I feel like we're watching SmackDown. This, this, is, uh, this is one questionable show. You know, and the this- Ascension should just go back to NXT. They said it should go back to NXT. They, they, they're like, just a bunch of big ass jobbers that's gonna get their ass. Kicked they need to go back to NXT and take out the fucking authors of pain. Please. Yes, sir. That I'm would so be a good match for the pain. dude. The Ascension are scary. They are a threat, but not anymore. Yeah, it they never, sucks. When they made their first debut on the main roster, they was never a threat. You can't. They could have like, been. Uh, they could have, but they wouldn't. They was. They was a laughing stock. You can't look like that and get your ass kicked all the time. Seriously. Yeah, you're right. It's ridiculous. The boy's freaking huge, and he just they get thrown around. Doesn't make any sense. Victor, yeah, he's a big dude. Yeah. Connor is a super good wrestler. We saw Connor in a fatal four way with uh, Finn, Connor. Uh, I can't remember who Sammy else. Sammy Zayn. Sammy Zayn. Sammy Callahan. I think so. Okay, but real quick, look. Like, Brock, could you imagine Brock Lesnar being Brock Lesnar but losing every single oh. time? <laughs> like, uh, it, it wouldn't fucking matter it's anymore. It's stupid. Yeah. So, yeah, I guess that's it for that. That was really yeah. an unfortunate match. That was a surprise match, you know, because that, that, just, that just came out of nowhere. It could have been fun. It was like they had, they had the fashion files earlier. They had mystery opponents. I think the Ooh. reason, I think the whole reason we got that is so we can get a fashion file on the... Because it is one of the highest rated segments right now. And just because, I mean, the guys deserve pay-per-view time. Yeah, they do. Make them, but make them look good, though, you know. Make them show, show, let, let them show their skill. Let them show their craft. How did the match end? I literally looked away for two seconds. I, did, I, I, was, I was adjusting myself on this couch. I missed it. Pinango won. Yeah. He pinned him. I'm not sure what he... All right, we're finally getting the ladder match, so hopefully... This next reaction will be a good one. It's Can I switch my pick? What? Who you switching to? Chinese dude. Ch- it's not Chinese. Oh, I'm sorry. What is it? You are, you are just knocking it out of the park this podcast. <laughs> I can't you say his name. I'm sorry. They, they, they cook the same. I can't say his name. Shinsuke, Shinsuke Nakamura. Shinsuke Nakamura. I, his, his, you know, his, I don't think his first name is actually pronounced since Shinsuke. When you go back and watch, when I went back and watched uh, Shinsuke, yeah, yeah, probably. There's an extra extra syllable in there. We Americanized his name that we're not pronouncing. We, we, like, we made a it, lot of silent letters in that. <laughs> we made it better. <laughs> we made it, <laughs> made it better. All right, we're gonna watch a ladder match now. We'll probably be upset afterwards. Um, sh- From NXT to not being happy where he was at NXT that he wanted to be on the main roster now he is. Now, Baron Corbin is money, Mr. Money in the fucking bank, and I told the both of you, and whoa, now you're both pissed. Whoa, whoa. Oh, too bad he's going to be the whoa. first Money in the Bank guy to lose. No, he's not let, the first. Let, let, let me, <laughs> hey, let me. No, I think he is, isn't he? No, other he, people have lost. Cena's lost. Let me remind you. Cashing in Money in the yeah. Bank? Hey, let me remind, remind you what happened. What happened? I picked Corbin first, and you picked him after me. I was picking Corbin the whole time. I did. was, too. I, I know Corbin. what I did. I know what I okay. did, and you know what? It was set up for it to happen. Hey, Corbin deserves a push. He does. I, I'm not mad, actually. More you know, than I'm, most. I'm not mad. I like Corbin. I like Corbin. I, I, I like Baron Corbin. I don't. I still think he's missing something. He just doesn't quite have it. There's a lot of wrestlers that's missing something. They still get pushed. Yeah. yeah. I don't agree with that either. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that was. Um, uh, at least he going freaking... Look at the people laying out on the mat. <laughs> so this match pretty much makes up for this being a shit show. Almost makes up for it. That was a damn good match. They, they should have did a little bit more with everybody. In this that was match. incredible, but you can't give us one good match and then like an entire yeah. It doesn't shit. necessarily justify the rest, right. but it kind of makes up for it. This show was so horrible. 
I'd rather sit there and freaking watch. What was that? That cartoon with the monkey? What? The cartoon with the monkey. Yeah, the, the Curious George. All right. I'd rather really watch that. <laughs> I mean, we have better door. options. I don't know why you chose that one. We could have watched PWG or New Japan or you know, What Culture, but you were Curious I mean, I George. Wanna, we're watching... I don't want hey, no, to. No, no, next no, Sunday no, we're no. watching Curious George and we're having a podcast about Curious George. I gotta George. watch that, my daughter, anyway. I didn't want to see them fabulous promotions with the shit we just saw. And we're going to watch Franklin. And then we're going to watch Little Bear. <laughs> don't forget about. Uh, we watch Little, Little Bear? Yeah, we're going to watch fucking Little Bear. I fuck with Little Bear. All right. Since we're on the t- t- uh, topic of Little Bear, why is his name Little Bear, but like his friend Snail and his friend Otter? They're not Little Otter. They're not Little Snail. They're not Little Beaver. It's. They was high when they made the cartoon. <laughs> how do we, how? Okay, I'm the host of this podcast. I'm getting off of this fucking topic. That was a pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> it's Father's Day. We're talking about. Yeah, it's Father's Day. Show. We should talk about this stuff. And I'm the only one that's not a father. Get used to it. I, I am used to it. Hopefully it will be for a while. Nah, change it. Uh, huh? Change it. Anyway. <laughs> Don't change it. You're all right. <laughs> so, oh, Renee Young looks normal. God dog it. I miss that hair up, little dirty, scruffy look. Renee Young's gorgeous, as always. I like her when the extreme rules when she just looked like, you know, she just went through hell. So apparently Booker T is permanent on SmackDown now. David Atunga is not coming back. Because they're just not impressed. I thought I was wrong. No, he, he's right there. Well, I thought he went to Raw, too, then. <laughs> no, Saxton's on Raw, the other black guy. I love the graphics for this pay-per-view. Saxton's freaking... <laughs> like, that was... Why did they put that tweet up? Because all the rest of them have been negative. What yeah. Happened? One of the tweets on the bottom was just, I love the graphics for this pay-per-view. And you know that was a smarky... Fucking tweet, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we're we're tied, and Jess has two. We all have three, and Jess has two. Okay. If I would have just picked gender, like I know I should have for that fucking match, I would have won. Yeah. I should have just stayed with my pick. Oh, you should always assume gender now. <laughs> <laughs> you, knew that, see you, know what, you knew that was going to happen, and Brandon being in his hometown. You knew that was going to happen. Yeah, uh, pretty much. They just showed Carmella taking that powerbomb. They showed this bomb. stupid crap again. She took that powerbomb right on her fucking elbows. Did she? Yeah. Yeah. That's why. I, That's why she couldn't cash it in tonight. She's injured now. <laughs> she had, well, he dragged her by geez. elbows. I, that, that makes me mad, man. What, Carmella? Yeah. You yeah. Know, that's the first time they've ever done a woman's Money in the Bank match. Yeah, and it's been kind of tainted. Yeah, and the women are, you know, they're trying to put the respect back into women wrestling in WWE, right? you know, and they're going to do it like this. They had a decent match. I think we knew we weren't going to get any, you know, Death Valley drivers through a ladder spot. And there's no reason we shouldn't have, though. Yeah, fair enough, but you, I just don't think we'll ever get... I don't know about ever. No, well, think about. Once again, I'm going to go back in XT. Yeah. Okay, well, let's talk about that. We talked about Money in the Bank. Everything was uh, shit. And the, the last match was good. Pass the keyboard over here. I'm going to yeah. go ahead and put it up for Brooks to oh, see. Oh, okay. It. Yeah. Um, Since we are done with this. We want to watch PWG? That's too late. Yeah. <laughs> I would, but yeah, you gotta drive all the way to Orlando, don't you? No, I ain't leaving until Tuesday. Oh, okay. So we but can I, watch. I gotta work. <laughs> they don't. Call them sick. I was thinking about taking a day. <laughs> Priorities, god damn it. I was thinking about taking a sick day tomorrow. Do I need I to pause th- the podcast? No, no, I'm going. Okay. To work. <laughs> I'm going. Um, to work. I, sh- I don't know. No, I'm going to work. Apparently, Jr. is doing a Ross report. Ask Jim Ross right now. So yeah, the NXT match, do we want to watch it and then talk about it, or do we want to just talk about it and spoil it for Brooks, or... Um, let me go ahead and turn this down. Yeah, what the fuck? So unprofessional. Oh, you muted the video. Not right. The... Okay. And WWE decided to turn it back up. Yeah. I'll just hit the mute button on the keyboard that mutes the actual computer audio. That's probably... This episode of NXT was really good. Uh, did I, is this one, I may have skipped through this episode. Is that Charles Barkley? 
It no. looks like it. <laughs> Percy Jack. No. Percy Jackson. <laughs> Jackson. That dude need a razor and some damn help. <laughs> you know who Percy Jackson is, right? It's a yeah, movie, right? Percy Jackson is. <laughs> I've never seen those movies. Oh my god, I haven't either. Well, look, it's the authors of Pain a bunch of... <laughs> Right yeah, it's, to it's too late to watch Authors of Pain. I don't like heavy machinery. I okay, do. so we're watching NXT right now. Yeah, we're, we're flipping through that NXT. Dude is tucked in. I tell Velveteen you right, I Dream is fucking awesome. Love his moveset. Love his character. His music is pretty cool. I love how he has the sunglass thing over the third eye. Uh, maybe I skipped through his match because I wasn't... Sonya Deville? They're, they're pushing her, looks like. I'm happy about that. I'm a Sony Deville fan. She's okay. This is another thing. Like you said, they had Velveteen Dream on already when he debuted. Oh, are they Sony she's... Deville next week? Oh, what is this a thing for? Oh, the NXT theme song. Oh, okay. Which I I hate. No ice cream. No ice tea. No. <laughs> Uh, no, I don't think it is. So, do I want to pause this right now? Actually, it could be. Should I pause this now and we'll watch the match? Um. Yeah. Okay. The match, uh, yeah. We'll be back in a bit. We're going to watch some of this NXT. So, we just watched the NXT women's match that we should have. See, I think the main roster matches should be better than what we get on NXT. Mm -hmm. I think that's the idea, but it doesn't work out that way. Yeah. Because they are, you're getting called up to the main roster. So that should mean you should step up your game. I think so. Not sidestep or step down. It seems like sometimes they need to have the NXT just go up and wrestle on Mondays and Tuesdays. Yeah. And have everybody on the main roster just wrestle NXT shows. But they give the best matches. They really do. Even like on that show, Velveteen Dream had a great match. Uh, well, maybe not a great match. He had a good match. He had a good match to show his character and everything. Um, yeah, I just... I enjoy NXT much more than Raw or SmackDown. Yeah, and I need and to start watching... now, apparently. I need to start watching 205 Live. Yeah, I've missed it the last two weeks now, I think. I need to figure out a way that I can download it so I can watch it at work. Because I can't... I don't have YouTube access or network access. Oh, that's right. And right now we're watching we're watching Dominion, right? Yes. We're not watching the whole thing. We just have kind no, of have it on the background. Five hours, five hours long. long. And we complain about WWE's. Did time. you see that cell? Nope. Yeah, but think about it though. WWE gives us three hours of Raw, which is pathetic. And WrestleMania is five hours this year, which wasn't that bad. There was been better. Uh, WrestleMania okay. was pretty good this yeah, year. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. All right, there was one point I decided to get back into wrestling a few years ago. I watched Raw, three hours. I timed it, mm -hmm. and I think there was twenty minutes of wrestling. Yeah, if you there are reports from like back then, and I I gave up. I was like, nope, not doing it. Because it would be like a forty minute opening promo from the Authority. Yeah, and then like a short match. Uh, yeah, it was absolutely terrible. It's I, getting better. Wrestling is getting much better. This was a shit show. This was, I feel like, still... Is he beating up his partners? Uh, no, I don't think so. No. no it's just, I don't know who any of these people are. All the young lions are just wearing black tights, so it's kind of hard to keep track of. If, if y'all yeah, will watch this with us, we are watching an Asian guy who is buff. Yeah. It's fuck. What do they say, the Asian Brock Lesnar? Yeah, the Japanese Brock Lesnar. Dude, he's like buff bag with a little bit of hair. <laughs> and intelligence. And <laughs> sweet mouthpiece. Look at him. He's like... Yeah, yeah he's he, got like vampire he mouthpiece. He got Bill Gober boots. Yeah, the short, short boots. boots. He got Austin tights, just black. And he got a Gober upper body. Hey, who was that uh, MMA fighter that used to have... Uh, it was the Russian dude, I think. He had uh, like wolf teeth for his mouth guard. Like painting Is that not McGregor? No, no. It was. I don't. I don't know if he fights anymore. Well, I don't know. Uh, his big guy. I remember watching his arm break. <laughs> so, oh God. Yeah, uh, it was in a arm bar, and the guy had a. I think the guy had a metal cup. Oh, he didn't. 
And uh, I, I think it broke his arm. Oh, my God. Yeah. But I remember seeing it break. And I think they called him the werewolf or something like that. Oh. Huh. Um, I don't know. But, yeah, he had a cool mouth guard like that. They look at Werewolf MMA, Daniel, the Werewolf of Texas, jo- Daniel Jolly. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait. St- oh, Lord. Stra- yep. Strahinja, <laughs> the Werewolf, Gavrilovic. That could be. Good Lord, that's quite the name. Is there a picture of him? Yeah, he looks like Aleister Black. Oh, uh, no, it wasn't him then. No, he kind of looks like uh, Borat. Huh. This guy's also from Canada, apparently. <laughs> Who's not from Canada? I just saw that he lost my... Booker like, T. Just, yeah. <laughs> Ron Simmons. Fair enough. The Rock. Shinsuke Nakamura. <laughs> Sensei Nakamura. Sensei Nakamura, as Bruce keeps calling him. This guy right here, we can't say his name because I can't read that crap. Naito. <laughs> That's just, Okada. I'll just call him Ejikuro El Simo Egrolo. Or Kenny Omega. What the hell's wrong with you? Kenny Omega's can- Canadian, isn't he? I think so. So we're just going to say everybody's Canadian or foreign when it comes to wrestling. <laughs> I mean, that's what we're finding out because we found out the Singh brothers are also from Canada. Yeah, right. That was shocking. <laughs> that was pretty funny. And they were uh, sitting in the dungeon. But, you know, look, yeah. look at this crowd. You know, they're in it. <laughs> wow, what was that? I don't know. <laughs> he just lifted his shirt and had his face on it. There's a lot of stuff that happens in the Japanese These, these crowds language. respect the Oh, craft. Ricochet. King Ricochet. Look here. These crowds respect the craft these boys go out there and give because they respect the sport of wrestling. Oh, yeah. That's why I like, for, that's why I like uh, this right here. Chaos. Oh, I don't know who Hangman Page is fighting, but, you know, Hangman Page is uh, in the U.S. title match. Who is that? That's Rocky Romero and Trent? Trent? Yeah. That's your boy? That's Trent? Yep, yeah, right there. Trent question mark. Yeah. Is he still Trent? Trent? It, it, it is on Twitter. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I only just give him his name. Oh, Trent. Oh, man, this looks like a great card. It always is. Oh, is that also a Bullet Club? That. Yeah, th- those are the, uh, I believe they're Samoans. Okay. And that's, uh... War Machine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God, this looks like a good show. All right. We're, <laughs> we're just going to sit here talking about Dominion the whole time. Early, oh, Cody versus this is Mike Elgin. Oh, my God. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and wrap this up. Money in the Bank was pretty good. Dominion, we need to watch. Uh, go watch Dominion. Go watch What Culture Pro Wrestling. Go watch PWG. We really need to just... We need to stop wasting our fucking time. We do. For fuck's sake. SummerSlam better be good. But you know what? We say we waste our time, but we just can't help it. We gotta watch it. Yeah, That well, match you know, right there. Koshida versus... I don't know his name, but he is the time bomb. We'll call him Kuruku. Huh. Koshida... Um, yeah, Kushida and the other guy, he goes, it's the time bomb. Huh. Uh, he's really fucking good, too. That's one match I'm really looking forward to catching up on on this. Damn. Yeah. It doesn't say his name. It just says Y-O-L, Y-O-L something? Uh, yeah, I, I can't read Japanese. <laughs> so. Uh, they have a lot of championships, don't they? Uh, yeah, because they have, like, they have, like, the, the, uh, lightweight tag titles, they have their regular tag titles, I don't know if they call them heavyweight or not, but, uh, or junior tag titles, I think it's called. Right. And they have the never open weight, and the Intercontinental, which, I, I, I love the Intercontinental right now, with Naito just trashing it. They're gonna have the United States Championship. Yeah. And, of course, the IWGP heavyweight title, which uh, Cody has a match against Okada at the U.S. I believe it's going to be at the U.S. show. Oh, my God. Yeah. Look oh, at that. there it is. Naito destroying the Intercontinental Championship. Brooks, have you seen this? Oh, jeez. He just tossed it in the air. What an asshole. Oh, uh, is he Tanahashi versus Naito? Is that what's going to happen? That sounds right. 
So I can't... I don't know how to pronounce that. And it's not even Japanese. It's Spanish. <laughs> Where? What? The, definitely Japanese right there. No, the the name of their faction. Oh. In, oh, Los... Look, he just throwing oh the belt. Oh my god, I had it the other day. Yeah, he just throws the belt all the time. In Like, yeah, he, like, he trash, he's trashing that belt. There it is, Okada versus Omega. Two. Oh, is it? Yeah. Uh, Okada won the last one in four, 45 minutes. Ooh, Christ. Boy, you better stop that shit. That's my, ooh, you better stop that shit. I, and I love Kenny Omega promos. Yeah. I love how he... I, I don't know what it is. Nice. Just, he pronounces every single letter. And I don't know. He something. gives probably the best promos going right now. In Other than of, Roman Reigns. Jesus. Oh, you, one of my favorite memes... My yard now. One of my favorite memes I've seen this week was... Um, it was Roman Reigns doing like his jumping Superman punch. Superman and, punch, sir. And like, uh, well, no, there, there's a reason I said jumping. And there was uh, someone <laughs> else, I forget who it was. I think Randy Orton doing a uh, like a drop kick. And there were somebody, two other people, I forget who it was, but they were doing jumping moves. Right. And it said, the Ain't floor is a good uh, promo. Jushin Liger. Yep. You know, like the floor is lava. It said, right. the floor is a good promo. <laughs> Jeez. Tiger Mask. Oh, it was uh, Nakamura, masks. which kind of pissed me off. Oh. Because I love his promos, too. But, yeah. Um, to advertise for the new... The... Monster Morning. Right? That's awesome. It's the Michigan logo. <laughs> I don't know what I, that is, but... Sorry, I, I thought that was Chris Jericho right there. From a far distance. Then he got close, I'm like... Oh, what the oh. hell? We've seen this guy before. We have? Yeah. It, he, he had a different mask. I think it's just a different style for him. Alright, so let's go ahead and wrap this up. We, I know we've said it before, but we really were going to start watching more indie stuff, less WWE stuff. Stuff that we can be like, yeah, that was great, and talk about why it was great, rather than give you guys, well, that sucked. Yeah. But that's not fun. And if you're listening to this, you probably watched Money in the Bullshit and Money in the Bank. <laughs> I just saw some on Facebook say that was the best one they saw since they started. Who? Really? Yeah. See, and that's why we need to bring people reports on this. That, that was one of the, oh, that was a great Money in the Bank ladder match. That, yeah, that, that's what the, Yeah, the... The main event match was good. That's what he was talking about, though. The main event match, not the pay-per-view. Oh, okay. So I, had, I, I looked at it, and I said, let me read this again just to make sure. Right. Because yeah, if, if you... He, oh, good night, man. You can get New Japan World for cheaper than WWE Network. Yeah, how much is it? Like I think it's eight ninety nine. dollars Yeah. It said oh. $9.99. Or it's like eight ninety five or something. Oh, Tiger Mask. Okay, so we also have one thing to do. We have to mention Dustin Terrell. Thank you for liking our page and leaving a comment on your predictions. We're going to do this for every WWE pay-per-view. Uh, just because like, the other shows are kind of hard to... We could probably do it with the WCPW show, but we're not going to watch that live. <laughs> right. But we could. Yeah. We definitely could. Well, we'll I, keep up with the, the WWE stuff because it's easier yeah. right now. It is easier right now. And that's what mostly everybody watches is WWE. So. Yeah. yeah. But we're encouraging you to go get... Uh, if you sign up Hell, give us your predictions for the other shows when they're coming up. If you're truly a wrestling fan, you will watch the other promotions that we watch. Oh, yeah. Give your predictions for whatever. Give your predictions for the fucking football game tomorrow night. I don't know if football's on right there now. There's no game tomorrow night. Okay. <laughs> I, <ain't sure> <laughs> I don't care. Just talk to us on Twitter. We'll reply to you. Leave us Speaking some comments. Speaking of other sports, though, is it going to piss sports. us off? What? But did you see what fucking Triple H did for the goddamn Penguins? Oh. Okay, let's not get you two I'm going so on. Fucking let's not get you two going on hockey. Did you see you know it? What? That's a different it? podcast. We're not... Are you going to host an NHL podcast? Fuck no, you oh. are. <laughs> let, me, let me tell you something right now. He's going to tell you something. Bro. Triple H can shove his nose up his own ass. Hey, just help me. This is, he, he gave him a belt. You saw him. He okay. gave him a belt. They, he's the been logo, doing that with logos. Yeah. How much better, how fucking badass would that look with the Predators logo on the side? The, Sorry, Dustin. You know what? It will look. Dustin, well, well, Dustin we're getting to you. Hold on, Dustin. We love you. Thank you. We appreciate it. We were going to wrap this podcast up like 15 minutes ago. Jacob, pipe down. We're talking hockey. About the fucking press. 
Look here. If the Predator logo was on that belt, oh. I would want to buy one. I, I would buy a replica. You know who else should get a belt to? The fucking referees. They deserve one too. Fucking bunch of fucking mother... Yeah, all right, let's go. I'm getting fired up. Again. All right, so... Oh, are we done? Yep. Take a nap. Okay. <laughs> uh... Fuck, I don't know what we're talking about. See what this is what you guys do to me. Dustin, <laughs> Dustin, we're getting you to your predictions, man. Hockey's so, a he, he called it here. I see Ellsworth interfering tonight and Carmelo possibly winning. Sure enough. Or Becky Lynch. So, yeah, he called that one correct. Yeah. Uh, none of us called that. I said it'd be interesting. I, I think I mentioned it right before it happened. Like You, you didn't, didn't mention it on the podcast. You were like, yeah. oh, no, guys, what if? Yeah, and... Same yeah, a thing. moment of clarity. Same thing you did with the gender thing. <laughs> yep, I'm like, well, this is what's going to happen. Yep. God damn it, WWE, you're too predictable. Yeah, that's another... I, I legit stopped watching wrestling at one point because it got too predictable as well. It's getting there again. Yep. It's not good, and we got guys like Kevin Owens and Nakamura and Corbin, and there's no reason for this shit. Don't fuck with me, WWE. I'll stop watching. And then he predicted that either Styles or Nakamura would win the Money in the Bank. Well, you're wrong, buddy. Sadly. I was right about that one. Baron fucking Corbin. Yeah. I should have The end of days. I, boring fucking Corbin. I, I think he's I should have stick. I picked him too, but I yeah, switched it at the last minute. Because I just felt something in my, my vibe, my bones. So Your vibe? Me, yeah. That's when, Nakamura's thing is vibe. Yeah. <laughs> Sensei, I just felt good going with Sensei Nakahura. Nakamura, oh, my, my part. I hope he don't come and kick me in my face. He will. He is going to Kinshasa. You right there. If he's going to kick me in my face, he might as well give me an autograph too then. Just cave it right in too. <laughs> he's going to buy me a new one. <laughs> buy me a new thing. <laughs> but it just... I'm disappointed in SmackDown. You know, since... Yeah, the show that's supposed to be like the better wrestling right, you show. Know, since they had the general managers come and they did all this splitting up and stuff, SmackDown has been better than Raw. Did like, Daniel you know, Bryan legit like take time off? I guess. I don't like know. even from writing and stuff, he must have. I, I guess. Well, no, just, he's coming back Tuesday, so we'll know if things get better from here. It just it don't make no sense to have a pay per view that bad. Yeah, I don't get it. You know, Fashion I mean? Police were on after the WWE Championship. The women's match was fine. It's an interesting finish. The girl should have been wrestling for the belt. Wrestle for the belt. Yeah, yeah, Lana. Lana. That was just weird. Yeah, once again, I don't get it. So does that mean, like, anyone can just come off the streets and challenge for the WWE Championship because they haven't? If the that's whole true, point in that was that she hasn't earned it, I would so like she's going to gonna earn it by winning it. You know what? I would if, like a shot. If that, I am Mark Henry's stepson. I do what I do. I have been told I was related Nasty boy Brian Knobs. So I would like oh. a. Yeah, I was told that my whole life. I don't hey, know if it's true. Go that shit. that shit. But, um, yeah, I'd like a shot. I don't even know what they're going to do with Lana from here. Like, I don't see any interesting character developments. Because Lana is, one, not interesting, and two, fucking shit in the ring. I still don't. I don't know. Maybe. Can one of you tell me, not, you know, the audience, whoever. Why the fuck do people like Lana so much? I like her as a manager. She's a great mouthpiece for Rusev. That doesn't mean she needs to be in the ring. With her terrible Russian accent? I don't think it was that bad. I understood it's terrible. it. Terrible. I understand it. <laughs> I'm just playing. It was bad. Yeah. It was bad. Rusev. <laughs> yeah, she can do better just, than that. You know, the reason I like her is she's just beautiful. Yeah. She's asked what they call in the hood a dime piece. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Brian? I, I do understand. That's what I'm ten, talking about, bro. But I'm just... I'm just I don't oh, know yeah. what I mean. Yeah, I tell you, yeah. <laughs> I don't get it. I'm not good. I'm not either. Bit. I just heard it the other I day. I, but, I, uh, I, she's beautiful, you know. I'll give, I'll give you one thing. The the women's... What they call it now? They don't call them Divas anymore, do they? The women's no. championship. The women's championship. They need to go back to Divas until they get the yeah. fucking the lady, straight. I'll just say the ladies of WWE are beautiful. They're beautiful women. And Maria Kanellis is here now. And she just adds the beautifulness onto it. But Maria some them, Kanellis and Mike Kanellis are awesome. here. Some of them just can't wrestle. Maria's going to show up a thing or two. You know, they, the two girls we just saw in NXT, they need to get moved up and have the same match they had right there. 
On SmackDown on Raw. Yeah. Yeah, Oscar, Nikki Cross, yeah. and Ruby Riot. They had an incredible match. That's sure it. did. It that ended in bullshit, good. but I don't think anyone was upset. No. I was mad when they got disqualified in a no-disqualification match. And then they killed each other. Yeah, but then I was like, <laughs> oh, well... Okay. It's going to lead to something, so that's fine. Yeah. That's the only reason I'm not upset about the Carmella thing, because it's going to lead to something. It already led to something. She it led to her good fucking with Naomi. Lead to anything. What's that? She's not that good enough to get a lead to anything. Carmella? Yeah. Carmella's good. All the rest of the girls that have been there. It's well, she's... Becky Lynch should, it should be Becky. I'd rather have her than... Sweetness. There's a really unfortunate thing that I think is happening right now in WWE was they saw what happened with Daniel Bryan where they held him back for so long and when he won the championship it was such a huge pop that I feel like they're doing that with Becky Lynch and with Sami Zayn. Oh, boy, that's, different, that. that's different from the men and the women though. A lot of people forget about the ladies. Yeah. As they do the men. So if they do that with Becky Lynch she's just going to fade away. Well, I think Sammy could do the same thing. It's not going to work every fucking time. You know, so. And one thing, WWE, y'all need to fire the camera crews that was working the camera. Holy tonight. shit, what was wrong with the camera crews yeah, tonight? Yeah, they was free. <laughs> From the, the start of the show, the cameraman walked under the ladder, which you're never supposed to do. That bad luck. I didn't see that. You and guys he, he freaking that. tripped over the ladder. Come on, bro. Get wrecked. Charlotte hit the camera. Charlotte the Peacock hit the ladder. Uh, the cameraman, when she's doing a little spin and Rooney. Get wrecked. All right? Freaking... <laughs> Shinsuke Nakamura, no, or sorry, Baron, Baron Corbin, Corbin had to kick the shit out of one of you because you kept fucking up. Because you try to get a close up. You know what? Get right. We should, we should have a get right segment. Get right. Yeah. Get right. Hey, hey get right. Get Getting back. right on Baron Corbin's head when he does the deep six. Get right, man. That was shit. Yeah, that was pretty bad. I don't understand why someone in the, the truck wasn't like, get us a better angle on that for the replay. Because, no, they just did the same shit angle on the replay. Because they was probably yelling at somebody because they ain't put no creamer in their coffee. <laughs> Deep Six is a badass move. I agree. Uh, what what the hell else did they fuck up? There was something else. Oh, it, I think it was just... <laughs> oh, no, there was like a big spot during the match while we watched Sammy slowly put up the ladder, right? Was it Sammy? Yeah, I think it was somebody putting up a ladder. And then like, we heard a huge... Landing from somewhere. Oh yeah, it was somebody in the middle of the ring, and it had to be Dolph Ziggler because he ran in the ring after that. So Dolph Ziggler might have did something to somebody outside. Yeah, and you, see, you see the whole crowd pop yeah, up. Yeah, everybody just over. stand up and ooh, but we wouldn't know that because it was focused in the middle of the ring. Yeah, yeah, usually it's the crowd misses something and we get to see it, not yeah. the other way around. So, camera crew from the WWE. And I would have forgiven them a little bit if they were like, by the way, w- when this was happening, here's what happened oh, over here. Oh, do an instant replay. Yeah. You but they're like, all right, guys, that's fine. Y'all missed this? Look, look what happened. Because Sammy, yeah. you know, putting the, the lighter in the middle of the ring, oh, it's so close. That is a good spot. That w- I don't mind that being there. But when it's like, I'm so close. <gasps> oh, I'm so... Guys, yeah. you fucked it up for me. <laughs> yeah. That sucks. <clears throat> WWE Kramer Crew. My official word for y'all, get right. Damn. God damn. All right, guys. Well, thank you for joining us. This has been the Few True Heels podcast. You can find it at fewtruevillains.com. F-E-W-T-R-U-E-V-I-L-L-A-I-N-S.com. You can find us on iTunes. Just look at Few True Heels. We're on Stitcher. We're on Podcast Attic. We're on Cast Crunch. We're all over the place. We're on YouTube. You can also just find the podcast on the website. You can find us on Facebook, Few True Villains. You can find me on Twitter. I'm at Best in the Realm. You got Jeremy Brooks 42 and Brian Mann 25. We also had Jess Monaghan. I'm not spelling that. You can just look on my Twitter. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> how, how do you spell it? J E S S M O N U S G H E N. G H E N. Yeah. Okay. Every, time, every time you spell it, I want to do the Mickey Mouse song. <laughs> Every time he spells out the uh, the website address, I think of Carmela's song. Shut up. Oh, <laughs> and one thing real quick, you know, if y'all go on YouTube, look up Wrestle Llama. It's a very nice page about wrestling. What, the llama? Yeah. The, dude, the dudes actually have legit stuff about, you know, everything. He does okay. a, a, a thing called Behind the Titan Tron. He does in-deep stories about stuff and... Like, like real life stuff? Yeah. Like, oh, all right. Like the dude getting murdered in the locker room in Mexico. Wait, oh, my God. Brody. 
Oh, oh, he did, right. He did a story about that. It's, he's really good with his material and stuff. So y'all check that out and y'all comment with us. Put stuff on the page if you want us to talk about something. You know, just communicate with us. Yeah, absolutely. Like and share everything. We're gonna start doing giveaways very soon. Do some yep. gift cards. Do some figures. Do some stuff. Well, like, what kind of stuff would you guys be interested? Let us know. Yep. And what was it, got? Dustin? Dustin Terrell. Yeah. Yep. Thank uh, you, buddy. We'll be getting your information. We'll be sending you some stickers. Yeah, man. Absolutely. Thank you for that, brother. Until next time, let's stop. <laughs>